What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn Rad 89 here bringing you another video and sorry it's been a while since I posted anything. I actually caught something like over the last few days and I've been sick as a dog for real for like the last three days and I have a cough drop in my mouth right now and might be coughing or there might be a lot of edits in this video just in case because I might not, I might run out of breath while I'm talking so <clears throat> today we're going to discuss, I had a fun video, like I said while I was sick those three days I had some ideas for videos and today we are going to discuss some of the probably hardest watches or films that left like endings or movies that left a continuous mark, you know, films that you were just thinking about days and days after. So these are probably, actually I have four movies on here, probably some of the roughest movies I've ever watched in terms of the content that they put on screen. Very trigger warning. So, but like I said, today we're going to discuss these films because like I said, this is a fun idea because I am a huge horror fan and there's not too many horror films that like really really get under my skin but these four films are you know out there that i said wanted to discuss so let's get down to it roll it so as i said in my intro these films are not for the faint of heart these are literally like four films that will like pretty much f and change you after you watch them because that's <laughs> that's the kind of movies they are so we're actually going to go in order of which one I think was the best one to the one that I think was the least best. And also I thought it was kind of funny when I was making this list of the four films. All of these films either came out in 2007 or 2008. So there was something about those late 2000s and horrors where they just wanted to punch you in the fucking gut and rip your heart out and just throw it on the floor. Because <laughs> they didn't give two shits what they were doing at that in the late 2000s. These are really rough movies, so... Let's start off, like I said, with the one that I think is the best and one that I'm actually kind of afraid to go back and rewatch. And this is one that I've only watched one time and it has stuck with me. And it's The Girl Next Door. And I know it's not. I know a lot of people are thinking about Alicia Cuthbert and, you know, Emile Hirsch. No, it's not the awesome porn star comedy that we absolutely love. No, this is The Girl Next Door from 2007. This is based off a Jack Ketchum book, and it's actually based off a true story of a murder and a horrific event that happened in the 60s, and actually uh, a case that really sparked investigations with the CYFD and what they were doing with children and stuff like that. So yeah, this is a rough movie. It's a rough movie to say the least. It's about a two sisters, an older sister and a younger sister, and their parents end up dying, and they end up in the care of their aunt and their aunt is a very abusive woman and she gets the kids in town the boys to do things you know to these characters to the to the older sister and threatens the younger sister then we have another character though david who is one of the boys who is kind of our he's our protagonist character who really starts to you know know that something is wrong that this isn't right and tries to you know get them caught and everything and what ensues in the movie is just some of the best acting I've ever seen in my life. Like, for real, this is a film that stuck with me. I'm telling you, after one watch, it stuck with me. And the acting is superb. It's so great. But this is a film, like, I must confess, I'm afraid to go back to. Because I know once we get to... I know what transpires in the movie. So I know once we get to that third act, I'm going to be crying, like, so much. Because that's, how, that's what happened the first time I watched this movie. This was such a powerful and potent film. And the story and the acting that when we got to the third act and the lit like literally the ending scene, I was bawling my freaking eyes out. Next up, we have Eden Lake. And this one is from 2008. That last one, Girl Next Door, was 2007. This is a 2008 one, Eden Lake. And this is a foreign film. I can't remember. This is a foreign film that stars Kelly Riley and Michael Fassbender and Jack O'Connell. And this one is about a couple who go vacationing at this kind of like little beach setting just by themselves. You know, Michael Fassbender and his wife trying to have a nice little weekend out and about with themselves. And they end up coming across some really nasty, evil teenagers that end up just, you know, basically causing this couple the worst evening of their lives and what ensues. And this one is about, yeah, like I said, those terrible teenage characters that are bullies that just want to like you know do the worst things to you and they chase this couple through the forest and do so many horrible things to them this is one that kind of like girl next door with that ending third act oh my god it just leaves you with a certain scene and it leaves you hanging this one actually leaves you hanging a bit so this one leaves some up to the imagination and what sucks so much is that I've seen so many horror movies and so many bad things happen in horror movies that 
leaving this this one especially Eden Lake leaving the ending spot up to the imagination is one of the worst things you can do so I want to describe it but then again I don't because I want people to watch this but I know these films aren't for everybody I'm telling you right now these films aren't for everybody these are really rough watches Kelly Riley's character ends up making it through of course her husband character does not she ends up making it through and she gets to about I think this is the third time in the movie she's found what she thinks is salvation is, you know, the saving point. And she ends up coming across the parents of the kids who have been chasing them and torturing them. And it's what they leave you off hanging with is just, oh, God, like I said, it's one of those movies, man, that will leave you thinking about it days and days after. We only have two movies, movies left. And I know I've been describing some really rough movies, so I don't want to keep you guys here too long. Because like I said, these movies are kind of wild, kind of crazy. This one is from 2008. This is a French film, and this actually has an American remake that came out in, I believe, 2015. But I haven't seen the remake. I've heard the remake is completely awful. I probably will give it a shot one day, but we're talking about Martyrs from 2008. And this film is a hardcore, like, revenge story is the way it starts out as two girls bond over a friendship where both of them were abused as ch children. And in their teenage years, they went through a horrible, abusive, you know, time, one because of their parents, but another one because she was captured by certain people and they kept her held captive and stuff. And these two girls form a bond. They go out for revenge, but that what ensues is just wild as one of them ends up, you know, getting caught by these people that had the other girl. I know it's kind of confusing a little bit, but yeah, and what they do is this is a group of people who are trying to discover more about the afterlife by creating martyrs. And how they do that is they capture women and they put them through some of the most awful and rigorous torturing stuff you've ever seen. And yeah, this movie, like I said, is another really rough watch, probably because there's about 30 or 40 minutes solid of this movie that's just repeat. Like it's really trying to get you, the audience member, in the mode of what these women we're going through. So it's just 30, 40 minutes of over and over repeat scenes of torture, go through this, cut to this, you know, you got to eat this, do this. It's just, it's really rough. It's a really rough watch. And they really, like I said, the creators and writers and the director try to suck you into this movie and make you as an audience member feel like you're there and you're going through what these women are going through. So yeah, this one is another really rough watch and Martyrs one that will leave you you know, thinking about it for days after, I actually do like this one, like 2000, I like this one. And that's another reason why I'm kind of skeptical about watching the American remake, because I've heard awful things about it, that the American remake is just a very surface level version and not as good as this one. So that's why I don't really want to watch that one, because this French film, this one does everything you really want, even though it's a really rough watch and not a film that you're going to return to a lot. When you get to that third act and the ending scene, like, I, I loved it. Like, this is one that actually, compared to the two above it, I do love the Girl Next Door one, but it makes me sob so much. It makes me cry so much. The Martyrs one was one, like, like almost like an epiphany ending type thing, and it actually works, and I liked it. So that's why this one, like I said, I'm kind of a little skeptical about going to the American remake because this French one was just so good. And now we're here at our last film, and this is the film that I would give a negative review. The top three up here, Eden Lake, Girl Next Door, and Martyrs, would all get positive reviews from me. This one I've actually reviewed on the channel, and I don't like this film. This is a found footage film that's a mockumentary-style film called The Poughkeepsie Tapes, and this is a film about a New York investigator who ends up discovering a location that has hundreds and hundreds of tapes that basically chronicle decades work of a serial killer and him capturing, torturing people, dismembering people, all these kind of things. And like I said, they cycle through these tapes, but it's filmed in a mockumentary style. So there's interviews with the investigators, with people who are related to people, you know, all that kind of stuff. So they treat it as if it's a real thing. But this is the one, like I said, that would get a negative review for me because it does everything I hate about found footage. It leaves ever, too much up to the imagination. I, I effing hate that. I, I'm one of those people that if you're able to do it on screen or you're able to comprehend it on paper, I kind of want to see it on screen. And the Poughkeepsie tapes, they just, it doesn't show you anything. It really doesn't. This film is so, it's just, uh, it's, it's blue balls. It leaves you with blue balls. That's the best way to describe this film is it gets you hyped up because of the way People describe this film to me as horror community and fans were like, they described it like Martyrs and Eden Lake and Girl Next Door. Like, this is one of the roughest watches ever. And 
this is one that for me was one of the most frustrating watches and that's why it's on this list is because it had a lot of potential but it was just so frustrating and by the time I got to that third act I was pretty upset with the film that I just went through so Poughkeepsie Tapes like I said is the one that's the negative review on here but yeah like I said all four of these films are films that will totally change you and like I said films that I recommend you would watch at least once but I'm telling you right now trigger warning stuff if you do not like heavy abusive type stuff towards towards females or you don't like rough movies with vulgar stuff going on or just really dark endings <laughs> these films are probably not going to be for you so stay warning but if you're into those really deep dark films and you want to go down this path these four films are all films that I recommend for different reasons like I said even though Poughkeepsie Tapes I didn't like it I still recommend checking it out because it's a film that you have to see I think at least once just to experience it. But thanks for sticking around with me all for this video. This was a fun video. And like I said, one of the ideas I came up with when I was sick over these last few days, I'm going to be trying to shoot some shorts and a couple other videos, hopefully before I get back to work and everything. That way I could have some content pumping out this week. Please like the channel. Definitely helps out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also, if you haven't yet, I totally forgot to actually say this in some other videos. I've mentioned it before, but I have been nominated for Horror YouTuber of the Month by Anthony's Horror and More, so please go over to that YouTube channel. I'll have the link in the description. Please go over there and vote. We have me and three other fantastic horror YouTubers that are nominated, so like I said, go over to that video. It's his nominees video. He lists all of us, and in the comments, you can vote for who you want to win. So thanks for sticking around with me all for this video, and also, like I said, go over to Anthony's Horror and More and give him a sub and check out that video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.